Germans into poop porn, YouTube will totally demonetize this video. Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie, or at least what's left of me after a monster mosquito feasted on me last night. I'm like 80% mosquito bite. But anyway, in today's video, I want to tell you about the most awkward, weird, or hilarious stereotypes about Germans that have been posted under my videos. I usually receive a lot of comments, most of them very positive and nice or constructive feedback, but especially when I talk about the German culture or stereotypes about Germans, I sometimes get to read very disturbing things. You know, people sharing their opinion about Germans with me or stating something that they have heard about Germans, which is not always something that I am as well aware of or that I can confirm. More like the opposite. Very, very, very uncommon and exquisite stereotypes that make you go, okay. For today's episode, I collected some of those very weird stereotypes that have been posted under my videos. They're related to very different things. For example, looks or behavior or sexual activities and preferences. Not only will I mention them, I will also give you my opinion on them. So let's see how much odd insider knowledge we can get to know about the Germans today. The most awkward stereotypes about Germans that people shared under my videos. Have fun! So one of the not so common and weird stereotypes that I found is that Germans always open windows. Even if it's freezing cold outside, they want the air from outside, fresh and clean. This is one of those claims that are surely not true for every German there is. But what I can say is that it at least applies a little bit to myself. I usually sleep with at least one window open, no matter if it's really cold or summer. That's because I simply like it to have this ice-cold breeze around my nose. Also, I tend to get headaches when I don't open the windows from time to time. Apart from that, I would say that Germans at least prefer opening windows and Stoßlüften over air conditioning. You know, you can find air conditioning in German, but it's not that much of a thing. At least not as much as, for example, in America. So yeah, I would say that opening windows is definitely something that Germans do. Next up, German girls are beautiful. Well, and for obvious reasons, I can say that's in fact 100% true. I mean, just look at me. Self-explanatory. Confirmed. Weird, awkward stereotype number three, Germans are all blonde. I guess I know where that stereotype comes from, but I'm not gonna go down that road. Instead, I'm gonna take that question literally and just look into some statistics. After some research and a couple of calculations on my own, I ended up with the following table. It appears that in Germany, around 48% of men are blonde. 42.3% have brown hair, 6.4% have black hair, and 3.3% are red-haired. For the women, it's 50% blondes, 43% brunettes, 2% have black hair and 5% have red hair. So given this data, the claim that Germans are mainly blonde seems to be true. But there are two things that need to be mentioned. First of all, it depends on the region inside of Germany whether a person is rather light-haired or dark-haired. For example, in the north, you'll find more people with real blonde hair. Secondly, what I listed as blonde in my table contains every kind of blonde hair. Very light blonde hair like this, the average blonde or even dark blonde. And I guess that quite some people would call the dark brown hair brown hair already. So especially when we talk about this transition color between blonde and brown hair, it is very difficult to say what's more common. So instead of saying most Germans are blonde, I would say most of them are dark blonde to light brown haired. But even that is just an estimation. I mean, I myself have brown hair. Next claim, 90% of Germans can't say clothes. 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 I don't know, you can decide about that one. If a foreigner speaks German to Germans, they will answer in English to be polite. And this may happen to you, but it really depends who you talk to. If it's a rather young person and he or she notices that you are truly struggling, he or she may think it's a good idea to switch to English. But you know, I personally wouldn't do that, as long as I think that the other person's German skills are well enough to communicate with. 
but this is also highly related to the context. If a person simply wants to chat or has a simple question, why would I switch to English? However, if the same person is in a hurry and needs to get the next train and asks me when it leaves, I may try to give him or her the required information in English so that the process is quicker. So that's pretty much my answer. It depends on the person that you're talking to and on the context, the situation that you're in. The following one is a very funny one. Is it true that German girls have hairy armpits? And of course the answer is yes, since everyone on this planet has hairy armpits. The question is whether or not you shave them. Gotcha! And I would say that at least the younger generations of Germans shave their armpits. I mean, I do, but I wouldn't blame anybody for not doing it. Prove it. Ta-da! Ready for the next stereotype? German chicks are hot as hell. Agreed again. All Germans are into Italians. Maybe? No clue where this stereotype comes from, and I've never been into an Italian myself, so I cannot really say whether that's true or not. Sure, there must be Germans being attracted by Italians but I wouldn't see a difference to other foreigners or even other Germans. Germans really like escargot. Here I'm not so sure if we are thinking about the same thing. To me, escargot are cooked snails. Food. I just wonder if that's like a nickname for something kinky. Hey baby, book off a bisschen escargot. <laughs> Either way, I have never ever heard of that. Sorry. There is a clear answer to the following stereotype. Germans are really into fitness. And since we are so much into fitness, I was very confused by the next one. German women don't wear bikinis. Eh? Germans are totally into fitness. They are all beautiful and hot chicks. Why wouldn't I wear a bikini? But fun aside, that's just not true. Maybe there was a time at some point where women didn't really wear bikinis, but these times must be over. At least I own a bikini as well as I own a bath suit, and I totally like to wear the two of them, depending on the season and, for example, my mood. Since we are already approaching the end of the video, here are the three most awkward stereotypes I could find about Germans. Germans are into hardcore dirty porn. And I'm not so sure about that. I mean, what exactly is meant by that? I guess every nation has some porn that could be described as dirty and hardcore. So what exactly are we talking about? Something weird? What's the deal with German porn? All the pissing? Uh, pissing? Well, at least it's not Pooping? You forgot the scheiße porn! Uh, What? Well, that's just one person mentioning that. Yeah. So that's actually a quite common stereotype about Germans. I'm kind of afraid to Google. Are Germans into poop porn? <laughs> no, they're not. I guess that's all related to this one South Park episode where they watched this weird German porn video. But seriously speaking, I don't think we are into that more than any other nation. I mean, all over the world, they're like the weirdest fetish. And I guess Germany has some too. But at least nice, innocent Trixie has never heard of that one. I have been to Hamburg Ripaban though in one of those shops and in the movie section. So I've seen things. But I'm not personally into that and I think most Germans aren't either. All right, rabbits, what do you think of all these weird stereotypes? In case you're German, what would you say? Are these true or not? And if you're not German, have you heard of them before? Do you know other very awkward stereotypes about Germans that need confirmation? Then let me know in the comments right here. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me very, very happy. Of course, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. And here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this. And if you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would appreciate your help so, so much. Now, I wish you all a wonderful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to. And hopefully we are going to see each other in my next one. Bye.